Welcome to this podcast for Brighton School of Business and Management students studying for the BTEC Level 5 courses. For this unit you will need to satisfy the criteria exactly as laid down in the assignment brief and as described here, but you should wherever possible use examples from your own organisation and business sector as well as showing evidence of having studied the unit topics in depth and breadth by referring where appropriate to relevant models, theories and established best practices. To enhance your understanding of these assignment issues, we strongly advise that you also discuss them with supply chain management, purchasing and procurement specialists and with operational and senior managers within your own organisation. Also, be sure to read all the supplementary articles in your study material. Each section should be approximately 375 words, although this is flexible up to around 450 words, not including graphics or illustrations, so you'll need to keep your responses focused on what is being specifically asked for in each section. Section 1. There are many variations on the structure of the purchasing function within organisations due to the nature of the organisation, its size, type, location and so on. You will need to briefly mention this, then select an organisation, ideally your own, but if this is not possible, then one that is typical of your sector, and give a detailed description of how the purchasing function is organised, staffed and structured, showing its place in the organisation's overall structure. For bullet point two, you need to select and describe a particular organisation, ideally your own, but if not, then one that is typical of your sector, and recommend a purchasing system described in outline and ways and mechanisms of monitoring the performance of that system against in-house targets and performance levels achieved by other organisations. Focusing on the system discussed above, explain how this will contribute to the operational and strategic objectives of the organisation. On bullet point four, advances in information technology are bringing major and radical changes to all areas of business, including supply chain management. You will need to identify a range of ways in which IT is already and could increasingly enhance the efficiency of supply chain management. Section two, here you need to focus on how, in general, organisations can establish and maintain positive relationships with their suppliers focusing on the broad approach needed, but also looking at each stage of the relationship, identifying suppliers, contract agreement, delivery performance, continuous improvement, and so on. Ideally, using your own organisation's portfolio, or a portfolio, or major product or service typical of your sector, draw up a vendor appraisal system with a vendor appraisal checklist as its core. Following on from the two points above, on bullet point three, you need to describe a minimum of two strategies which would ensure that relationships built up with suppliers are in line with and support organisational policies. For example, in the case of business ethics, environmental management, corporate social responsibility and quality standards. On bullet point four, make or buy is a choice between make it in-house or buy from suppliers, covering the creation of products or parts, for example, and also the provision of services such as catering or printing. You will need to describe a minimum of three situations where a make or buy decision could be made and make a recommendation with justification. Finally, capital goods are items that are expected to last or be in use technically for at least one full financial year, but in reality for at least three years. They include items such as machinery, plant, vehicles, computer networks, items which are purchased outright, not rented or hired. You will need to research techniques used to purchase such goods, including confirming need, identifying and selecting a supplier, financing, and describe these in outline. Section 3. Here you'll need to summarise the core negotiation techniques used and then describe the additional aspects of the negotiations related to costs, such as bulk buying, consortium buying, economic order techniques and so on. You should select two very different types of goods for bullet point 2, such as an ebook or software package and a computer or a vehicle, and consider the most appropriate distribution channels bearing in mind that distribution channel includes the organisations involved and the method of transportation. 
Bullet point three applies to the physical transportation of goods, the physical delivery of services and the electronic delivery of products and services, focusing on procedures used to protect staff involved in the delivery chain and the procedures to protect the goods themselves. In essence, bullet point four is about monitoring and controlling the process that is in place, particularly from the point of view of being aware of any actual or potential variants and taking appropriate corrective action in conjunction with adopting techniques such as JIT. Section 4. The twin cause of bullet point 1 are the purchasing power of the major national and international organisations, purchasing at low prices, dominating or influencing the output of suppliers and purchasing from anywhere in the world, and the infrastructure that has been created to respond to globalisation. Unless your organisation purchases from foreign suppliers, it is best here to research two well-known international but uh, different types of organisation, purchasing different types of goods and services, and research how they build and maintain positive relationships with foreign suppliers. On bullet point three, you'll need to identify and research international purchasing specialist companies or agencies easily found on the internet and using the information found respond to this bullet point. Here you need to discuss aspects such as supplier vetting and selection, relationship building and maintenance, costs, quality standards, delivery timescales, business ethics, environmental issues, corporate social responsibility issues and so on. Finally, you need to focus solely on how the recent developments in and increasingly high profile of corporate social responsibility is affecting and changing the relationship between purchasers and suppliers. There are many examples that can be easily researched and used in your response. Don't forget that you also need to add a list of sources of information and references showing any books, websites, articles, case studies, reports, internal documents and people interviewed that you drew on in order to complete your assignment. The sources of information and references are not included in your word count. Here is a list of websites you should find useful when completing this assignment. And if you need any further help or assistance with this assignment, please contact your tutor.